Hey folks, hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be revealing changes after classification with two different methods. For this purpose, we'll be using Idrisi Tear Set software which is one of the most powerful software for processing. The two methods that we're going to use are Crosstab and LCM. At first, we need to import the classified images into the software. You can use a variety of formats for this. We previously saved classified images in Erdos format. So here we will import images from Erdos section. Go to the save path where you save the image and select the image. Assign a final name for each image. By pressing the OK option, the saved images in Erdos format turn to Idrisi format. Here all the images have been imported to the software. You can use the display option to display the imported images. Here, select the imported images. As you can see, the images were displayed on different classes. By clicking on any of the classes, that specific class will be displayed alone. To reveal the changes with the help of Crosstab, we can go to the Idrisi GIS Analysis section. Select Crosstab from the Change slash Time Series section. The input of this section is the image before and after classification. That you can choose the desired images. You can select this option if you want to apply a mask on the image. The output can be obtained based on different methods. There are four different ways to export or output. We select the BOSS Cross Classification and Tabulation option. Specify a name for the output. Here, the output is displayed both as an image and as a table. It displays the changes of each classification class to other classes. By clicking on each class, you can see these changes alone. Here you can see the cross tabulation results. You can save this file if you want to. As mentioned, we use two methods. For the second method, we select Land Change Modeler.
Here we need to specify a name to start. Select the first image. By selecting it, the date of the image will be determined at the same time. Also, select the second image. and specify all classes. If the classification of the first and second images varies in ID classes, you can modify them in this section. And specify the name of each class so that you can compare better in the output. Select the Change Analysis option. In this section, you can view and output all the results. You can choose the type of analysis. Here, select Gains and Losses by Category. You can specify the unit based on your needs. In this section, Gains and losses between the two classifications of 2011 and 2021 have been specified. That each class has had what changes over two years. Also, the net change between the two classifications of 2011 and 2021 is clear. And finally, contributions to net change for the built-up class that this analysis can be specified for all classes. You can easily screenshot and save any chart. In the lower part, you can output other analyzes in the form of a map. In the first part, it is map change. You can specify a filter to remove less and also specify the unit. In this map, you can see the changes in the classes. By clicking Ignore Transition Less Than, you can see the number of pixels that are more than 10 in the map. Here you can view and output map persistence.
you can get the desired outputs for all classes alone. For example, here you can take the map gains, losses for the desired class. The red areas are losses and the green areas are gains. In the following, you can specify the types of outputs and analysis.